Hi, my name is Boris Vasilev. I am a retired associate professor of Technical University of Sofia. Ten years I worked for uh, Agnus European Geostationary Navigational Overlay Service Validation. Now I uh, uh, work in the Technical University of Sofia uh, and uh, teach uh, uh, radio electronic equipment and uh, aviation devices. Uh, today we will uh, speak for global navigation satellite uh, systems and uh, our uh, talk will be about uh, navigation, what is this navigation, about coordinate systems used in navigation, about position determination by GNSS, Global Navigation Satellite Systems, and about the errors of uh, GNSS. Uh, what is this uh, navigation? That is very uh, precise, very excellent explained by uh, Terry Pratchett in uh, his book uh, Wings. We can't be lost, said Garda. We are here. We know where we are. We just don't know where we aren't. Very excellent explanation of notion of what is this navigation. Many of us, all of us know that uh, we are here, but uh, we have to know that navigation uh, is relative. Uh, compulsory, we have to choose a coordinate system. Uh, navigation is a field of study that focuses on the process of monitoring and controlling the movement from one place to another place. That means that uh, it is not enough to know our coordinates, but we have to know the coordinates of places where we want to travel, when we uh, want to uh, go at first. At second, uh, if we know our coordinates, that is not enough. The next step is to know our linear accelerations, linear velocities, uh, linear coordinates at least, and uh, angular accelerations and angular coordinates, that means uh, pitch, roll and heading. Only then we can travel from one place to another place. That means that we have to know at least 15 parameters for navigation. Knowing only in our coordinates, as I said, is not enough for movement from one place to another place. What kind of, kind of uh, coordinate system we have? The first one is inertial coordinate system or inertial reference frame. An inertial reference frame is coordinate frame in which Newton's law of motion are valid. Inertial reference frame are neither rotating, neither accelerating. Uh, next is uh, Earth-centered, Earth-fixed coordinate system. In the Earth-centered, Earth-fixed system, the x-axis points in the direction of zero degree longitude and the y-axis points in the direction of 90 degree east longitude. The x and y and z-axis therefore rotate with the Earth and no longer describe fixed directions in inertial space. The third used uh, coordinate system uh, for global navigation satellite navigation system is World Geodetic System. The standard physical model of the Earth used for GPS and uh, the other uh, GNSS system like uh, uh, GLONAX, like Galileo, like uh, Compass or Beidou Chinese uh, GNSS system applications is the uh, World Geodetic System 1984, uh, one part of uh, WGS84 is a detailed model of the Earth gravitational ir irregularities. As we see later, it is very important to know the coordinates of uh, moved and used satellites in the sky. Hence, uh, we have to have a model of gravitational gravitation field of the Earth, which influence these coordinates. Such information is, is, is necessary to derive actual satellite ephemeris information. However, we are concerned here with estimating the latitude, longitude, and height of a GPS receiver. For this purpose, 
WGS84 provides an ellipsoidal model of the Earth's shape. That means that we don't use the exact form of the Earth. In the next uh, system used for GNSS navigation is a geographic coordinate system. The most well-known coordinate system is uh, this uh, GCS system, which uses measures of, la of latitude and longitude te to determine our location. Lines of latitude and uh, run north and south parallel to the equator with positive numbers representing the northern hemisphere, negative numbers representing the southern hemisphere, the equator representing zero degree latitude. Lines of longitude run east and west parallel to the prime meridian with positive numbers representing the eastern hemisphere, Neg negative numbers representing the Western Hemisphere and the prime meridian representing zero degree longitude. On this picture is shown this uh, coordinate uh, system, geographic coordinate system with uh, longitude, uh, latitude and height of uh, user position. Position determination by GNSS uh, uh, lies mainly of me time measurement. We can claim that uh, time determines the space not only in global navigation satellite systems, but in all radio navigation systems like VOR, very high frequency omnidirectional radio range, like DME distance measurement equipment, uh, used in the aviation and so on. I will repeat once again the time determine the space. Uh, how we can determine our location if we know position of source which sends signal to us in given coordinate system. I said that navigation uh, is uh, we compulsory have uh, to have uh, coordinate system. If we know the coordinate system of given source of signal, for instance, uh, this signal could be uh, sound, could be electromagnetic wave like in GNSS and so on, uh, and we know the coordinates of the source and uh, know the time, the exact time when this signal is sent in uh, space, and let's suppose that we have two-dimensional coordinate system, we know the coordinates of the source and we want to determine our coordinates. So, uh, we know the time when the signal is sent by uh, the source and we measure the time when we receive this signal. Where we are? Uh, we are on a circle with uh, radius measured distance. That means that we cannot determine exactly our position. If we use two sources, we can determine in the same manner uh, two circles and cross sections of the both circles determines two points. But in this uh, uh, manner, measuring our uh, coordinates, we have ambiguity. We could be uh, either at point A or point uh, B. Utilization of third source of noise in our case of uh, uh, sound can uh, resolve this uh, ambiguity and we can determine our exactly position which is, which is cross section of the uh, three circles. Uh, how is the situation in uh, GNSS, Global Navigation Satellite System? There we use once again source of signals, but these signals are satellites and these satellites uh, are in the sky. So we saw that uh, we compulsory have to know the position of these satellites in choose the world geodetic system at first, at second these satellite uh, satellites uh, have to send signals and these signals uh, uh, is uh, electromagnetic wave. If we have one uh, satellite, 
Uh, here we work with three-dimensional space and measure in a way similar to uh, or, uh, measurement of distance in two-dimensional coordinate frame, we can determine our distance from this satellite and hence we are somewhere on a sphere with center, known center, coordinates uh, of the satellites at the time when this signal is sent. If we use two satellites, we can determine plane of intersection of the received uh, two uh, spheres and uh, third satellite will determine two possible uh, coordinates of our user uh, receiver. Uh, it is uh, uh, acceptable that uh, the, our coordinates will be closer to the Earth if we navigate uh, in uh, uh, space close to the Earth, the next uh, point away uh, in the space. Uh, so how we can uh, determine the distance? Let's uh, go once again to two-dimensional uh, two, two dimensional space. We have coordinate system determined by axis x and y and know the coordinate of satellite x0 and y0. We want to determine our coordinates x user and y user. Measuring distance to the source, in our case satellite, we can determine the shown equation where R depends on the coordinates of uh, satellite x and uh, y0 and we want to find our coordinates uh, x and y user. In the same manner, if we go to three-dimensional space, we can determine and the distance to the satellite by uh, expressed by uh, coordinates of uh, satellites x0, y0 and z0. In this case, we have three unknowns. These are our coordinates in the world geodetic system. If we use three satellites, we can determine three uh, distances R1, R2 and R3 which are a function of the coordinates of chosen satellites uh, X0, uh, 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 Y0 and uh, Z0, 1, 2 and 3. Meanwhile we don't know our coordinate but we have three equations and these equations by the way are non-linear with three unknown. Uh, unknown. Uh, these are our coordinates x, y and z user. So measuring time traveling of uh, the signal from the satellites to user, we can determine these three coordinates. But we have to know that we measure time and uh, of uh, um, traveling of the light, of electromagnetic wave. If we accept the uh, speed of light 30,000 kilometers per second and if we have a clock error of uh, our receiver one millisecond uh, it is uh, possible, to, uh, possible to determine uh, our error in uh, distance measurement and this error will be uh, 300 kilometers unacceptable uh, accuracy in measurable measurement of our coordinates. What we can do? Just uh, we have to have in mind that this uh, time error of our clock it is constant for all of used satellites and we can add this error in uh, the equations and uh, uh, C multiplied by delta T and if we use four satellites we are able to determine for unknowns our coordinates x, y and z and uh, the error of our receiver. So conclusion is that we compulsory have to have four satellites used. Practically we see in the sky 8, 10, 12 satellites even, uh, but uh, uh, depends on the environment. If we are in urban uh, environment, we uh, sometimes uh, uh, 
uh, can see only four satellites, but uh, if we are in the air like aviation, practically we can see eight, ten satellites, but uh, if we have in mind then nowadays we use an geo satellites uh, for navigation, this number could reach uh, about 12, 13 satellites depend on our position.